Hi guys, Liam here, and today I would like to talk to you about foam blocks. So, phone blocks and the idea of modular smartphone really started back in early September this year when a video was posted on YouTube entitled Phone Blocks. This video, created by David, um, I'm not sure if his second name, he is Norwegian and I wouldn't really want to pronounce it wrong, uh, decided to make a video explaining the idea of his modular smartphone. The idea of phone blocks is that when you have your phone, you can, if it gets old, if say the processor get dies, or your processor isn't powerful enough to run the latest apps, you can take your processor out, and you can replace it with a newer processor, pretty much like a desktop computer. Another example would be if your camera on your phone got old, if uh, you were trying to take a picture and it didn't work, and you were really frustrated, you could just go up to the shop, ask for a new part for your phone, it'll be a new camera part, you take your camera part out of your old phone and you replace it with a better sensor or a better zoom. You could have an upgrade of RAM, an upgrade of the graphics card inside your phone. His concept would just be amazing and if it does end up working, insane. So here we have my phone. This is the Sony Ericsson Xperia Play with that lovely PlayStation certified keyboard there. At the time, this was literally my dream phone. I had been wanting it for a few years, so when I wanted, when I got the phone, it was a few years old, which was the start of where I went wrong. So I got my phone, I think it was for my birthday, I'd saved up enough money and I was really, really excited about it. So I got it, all excited about this lovely, really, actually really nice PlayStation certified keyboard. Uh, so like, I thought I'd be gaming all night, it would be great, uh, but I ended up after probably about four or five months realizing that it was a bit of a mistake to buy an old phone and there was really nothing I could do about it. Now if I had phone blocks I would be able to, or phone blocks type phone, I would be able to open up the back, take out say the processor and whip in a new one and that would be all great and because now my phone is kind of quite old, let's stick the back on there, and it doesn't run apps as well as I want it to. I, if I'm running more than one app, it can it becomes laggy. And even if I'm downloading something and then I try to play some play a game, it's literally impossible to play it because of how slow my phone is at the moment. So if my phone was a modular smartphone, I would be able to take out the graphics card and then find a new one, put that back into my phone. Uh, I think they're trying to work on it to be really simple, so it's more like a click in and out action rather than screwing everything off and putting it back in again. So that would be really, really useful and I'll be able to play the latest games that really this phone should really be able to play. But over time, as you progress in technology, it doesn't become as up to date and the software outplays the hardware of the phones. And really, I need a new phone at the moment. So on the 29th of October, David announced his new idea and so the follow-up sort of video for phone blocks and the idea of a modular smartphone being a reality. This video was called Phone Blocks The Next Step and showed what they'd been working on in the time from the start of September to late October in the development of phone blocks as a project. So it had turned out that phone blocks had been working with Motorola and a few other companies to start the idea and the reality of a modular smartphone. Motorola slash Google had been working on this thing called Project Aura. This was the latest development in a modular smartphone and the next step, I hope, into bringing a modular smartphone into real life and into existence. When I heard about this, I was extremely excited. I thought that this old phone that I would have, I would be able to get rid of it and I would be able to have this cool new phone which I would be able to swap in and out parts when I needed to. Basically like a desktop PC. So really out of the blue, Motorola kind of slash Google now came together and were like, let's do this with Phonebox. And now there's an updated blog about Project Aura 
there is an updated phone blocks page about them and an updated phone blocks website about them also we have a new d scout page where you can sign up to become a scout of project aura and to help in the design of the phone but at the moment i'm kind of a bit skeptical about the idea of phone blocks and about the idea of project aura although they have put this big campaign out which you can actually go on and take part in the development they're kind of being the first sort of phone company instead of having their phone all developed behind closed doors and then released when it's fully ready they're kind of putting it out to the public and they are giving you the chance to comment on what you think about project aura but it's just the way that it's going to work worries me a bit so far there hasn't been much talk about the whole main hardware parts of the phone being swapped out and replaced now i know it's very early on in the stages of creating a phone it's going to be a few years until actually project aura is released properly for the consumer or even if it does ever get released this could just be a whole publicity scam maybe for motorola to take hold of the main parts i'm really looking for swapping out of a phone is definitely the processor definitely the graphics card definitely the ram with this idea being so young i would much prefer to hear more about the processor and the os that's going to be used probably mainly going to be android because google and motorola are now one so definitely probably going to be android run on that but anyways that was my impressions and basically a quick brief history of the modular smartphone and how it might be coming a reality now which is really great great idea thank you very much guys for watching please let me know down in the comments below underneath that like button what you think about the idea of project aura so thank you very much guys for watching i hope you learned something today and basically that was phone blocks that was project aura and that was the idea of a modular smartphone. Bye.